Blessed be the name of the Lord. Once again, it's such a joy to share the word of God which the Holy Spirit has placed in my heart. Today, I want to just share the word from Genesis chapter 8 verse 4. The word of God says, And on the seventeenth day of the seventh month, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Yes, on the seventeenth day of the seventh month, the ark where Noah and his family had been. So this ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Praise be to God. As we see that the, there was a great flood and all the living creatures on the planet earth was wiped out. And on the 17th day and the 7th month, the ark came to rest. Even this year we see that people are unrest in so many things because of the virus, because everywhere we see the death and fear is filled the world. But the word of God encourages us to pray and to call upon the name of the Lord and ask for his rest in our life so that he is the Lord who is willing to give rest in our life. And this state indicates the seventh month was the month called Abib in those days. So in this month, there are three important things that has happened on the face of the earth. The first is where the ark rested on the mount of Ararat. And the second is when Israelites came out of Egypt. So when Moses and all the Israelites were on the, the, the shores of the Red Sea, so God divided the Red Sea and helped them to go on the other shore and gave them the rest from all the persecution they had to go through through uh, because of the Egyptians. So even that was the month of Abid, that is the seventh month in those days. Because similarly, Jesus Christ died on the cross and he was buried. He was put into a grave and on the third day, the Bible says he came back alive and even that was the month of Abib, that is the seventh month. These are the three great incidents which has happened in the history and let us just ask God even whatever the challenges that you are going through, whatever the unrest that you are facing, let us ask God that give us the grace and give us the rest, O Lord. And He is the Lord who is faithful. The Bible says He is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. The things will change. People will change. The situations will change. And even this pandemic will pass away. But the Word of God, the power of God will never pass away. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. Let us ask for His rest and I am sure that my God, our God will give us and grant us the rest that we are looking forward to. and may God add His blessings to this word. God bless you. Have hope and trust in the Lord and He is able to deliver us from all our persecutions and all our trials and temptation. May God richly bless you. Amen.